Hey everybody, it's JFeatherFan12312 here. Welcome you guys to another episode of Let's Play Gauntlet Dark Legacy. In the last episode, which I recorded an extremely long time ago, um, we got the Javelin of Blinding. I remember that. Maybe we're farther than that? I think we might be I think I might have recorded one more episode than I uploaded recently. I should have checked that before I started this video. Oh well, too late for that. We'll figure out where I am when we start up the game here. Start. Load. I believe it was 10,000k on top, yeah, because I was a red archer. Welcome back. Red archer. Took him a while to say that. Okay, I'm up here. Okay, I could I could believe we got the javelin in the last episode. That's annoying. Let's move. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. My joystick is kind of very twitchy, apparently. <sighs> That's gonna get annoying. Sorry, my cat wanted out. It's the cat who can let himself out, but I didn't really just want him to let himself out out of nowhere. One moment. Sorry about that. A gargoyle is guarding access to much gold. Well, that's go. That's fine because we need to kill a lot of gargoyles. Because now these gargoyles will drop the feathers we need. Ah, there's one of those. And let's pull the switch. This is one of those mini games to unlock characters. Grab coins before time runs out. These games get really hard, by the way. One of them we'll see in the future is probably one of the hardest things I've ever tried. There is one of these where it's where, like, you're moving. Like, the, the platform you're on is moving. You have no control over that. And so you have to pretty much know where the coins are to get them. And I hate these pads sometimes. Just because their hit detection is kind of wonky. I'm missing one. Where is it? Over here. Okay, got it. Those things stress me out. I think you're supposed to, like, memorize the map in the few seconds they give you. I've never been good at that. Okay. Right, I can't turn camera like I thought I could. That looks like poison. Yeah. Although that might not have actually been poison, that might have just been what the ground around it looked like, and I just got lucky in my guess. Please aim towards the things that are actually a threat. A current threat. Oh, I expected... I expected one chest to be bad. Usually if they place two next to each other, one's good, one's bad. Three-way shot. You have to get hit for it, but... Ooh. 
It'd be nice if the camera moved a little bit better so I could see what I was doing. I'm down to four keys already? Wow. Oh, I have eight now. Hey, look, a bomb. I could use it. Awesome. I thought that might have more use than it did. I don't actually remember this level very much at all. So I think the... Um... Character unlock might be the only special thing about it. I had, to, apparently I had to go that way. Oh, that's just a key door. A double key door. I always have nine potions, so why not use them? When the enemies have grown to be a threat. Not like an actual threat, more like just they've grown to be annoying. Do I have to get back, I, do I have to backtrack for that? I hope not. Yep. Let me go do that. It's one black crystal, but it could be useful. You want to collect as many of them as you can. And it wasn't much of a backtrack, just over there. You need 250 of these damn things, so... It's good to collect them while you can. There's level two of the castle done. Red Archer has and yeah, there wasn't a runestone in there because we didn't hear the crazy laugh that indicates there was a runestone we missed. So magic should be boosted four times. Fill up on keys. Fill up on health. Fill up on potions. Three, four, five. I'm just gonna put everything into magic and by levitation. Cool. Save slot one, ten thousand K, yes. Save complete. Done. Barracks. Maybe. This is where the legendary item of this level is, though. So after this, we can actually go fight the boss that this pertains to. So after this level, we will just go straight to that. Yeah, I think that's all that's in this level. I think there's only one runestone in this entire realm. And I think it's... It's not in this level. If it is, we will find... If it is, we will find out when we leave, at worst. Just make sure... Hey, I killed death on accident. Get more blue crystals, those are very important. Because we need them to get to the next world. I didn't even see what that did. I think that's what gave me access over here. Pulling that switch.
which is what we needed to do for It wouldn't have been in a cutscene if it was that one, so I think it did move that one, but it did more than that. And that's, I think we needed that to get to the ice axe there, that we saw in the beginning. I'm using a lot of magic here. To use that key, take some pain for it, then heal that pain right up. I should probably stop using magic. Save it for when it's more necessary. Ugh. Okay. How did I destroy that already? Kill them. That's all he- okay. That guy must have been affected by something previously. So something- I need to flick something else to get to that button. Yeah, it's better to stay in as much of a distance as possible, because melee attacks don't do as... First off, melee attacks can't hit spawners, or at least can't hit some spawners. I thought there was a chest over there. Death awaits you in the shower. Okay, that's the button I needed to hit to get over there, so let's do that. I'm trying, I try to get as many secrets as possible in this game, because this is one of the games that I used to play all the fucking time. So... And we needed to hit that, too, to get to the Ice Axe. I'm not willing to take on bosses without their special weapon. I could have sworn we could climb up that. Oh, the chest is over there, past this point. Okay. Well, there's death in a shower. That was pretty simple scroll. I think that would have been an experience draining death. It looked... Because I think the health draining deaths are red, and that one was black. Get the chest, get the key, so you can use melee attacks on that thing, good to know. But you, but enemies get a chance to attack you if you kill it, other enemies get a chance to attack you if you kill an enemy with a melee attack. Red Archer has gained a level. Give me another feather. Reflective shot? Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure I've ever actually used that. I don't know if I've ever found that before, actually. And I don't think you can buy that. Yes, I created poison food. I don't really care. And 
camera annoying me. Yeah, I thought there was some way to get up there. Go through here. Get more of these, use more magic. I only have two left, I should probably save some. That cherry. Get that. Oh, the trap killed the rat for me. How about that? Flick this switch. I could actually see my character there. Yeah, because you know that fire working in water makes sense. Magic. Yay, more magic. Yay. surprisingly well. Wait, this is the end? Ah, this level always screws me up because I never know where to find the ice axe. You're a bomb. So, I always have to backtrack once I get here and search. Luckily, all the enemies should be dead now. So... It's just about finding the ice axe. So let's do that. Ow. I could also search for that chest that the switch popped up, because apparently I didn't find that either. There it is. Oh, yay, a hammer that's now useless to me. No, actually, I think... There's a ton of enemies by the ice axe, so I think it might be useful. I'm taking a bunch of hits just because I'm not really caring. Just have to go back and find the damn thing. And yes, that's a lot of backtracking. But I gotta do it. I can't just not. I already went up here, right? Yeah. It's over there. So how do I get over there? Oh, that's this. Oh, is it? I think so. I think that's the same area I was at at the beginning of the level. There's a door here. Just unlock it just for my OCD. <coughs> mm. I don't know what that was, but okay. Okay. And then we just go across here. I don't know how I miss this. I always miss it, and I don't know why or how. A hero who wields this ice axe should now challenge the dragon. The legendary ice axe. There. I have the ice axe. Now I go beat the level. And then I'll go beat the dragon. <coughs> oh, 
Sorry. I've been like semi sick these past few days, but I wanted to get some stuff uploaded for next week. And well, I guess that's this week when this comes out. And I realized I didn't have any episodes of Gauntlet, even though I had a bunch of pre-recorded episodes of everything else. So I'm getting at least one done now, probably two. Because right now is the perfect time to record. I don't have any school to worry about. Done with all my chores for the day. And everyone else is at work. So, perfect time to record. You may be wondering why I'm not at work. I suck at keeping a job. So, I don't work. Uh, yeah, I'm a full-time student. And right now is just in between two semesters. So... And even still, with the way my next semester is set up, I should have a lot of good recording time then too depending on how much homework i need to do and how often i do it and shit like that eat the poison fruit just because i want to and finish the level <coughs> sorry I don't have the ability to edit things like that out, so... I don't have the program. That's what I don't have. <coughs> oh, that's better. Strength. I'm just gonna put it all in strength. And then I want a phoenix. And I'll take... I'd prefer levitation, really. I'll take levitation twice. There. I still need to put more in magic, but... I need to do two in magic, then one in magic and... So three in magic, and one in armor to catch it up. So four in magic... Two in armor and one in strength will catch them all up so they're all the same. I'm so glad that this 10,000k cheat exists in this game. If it didn't, I wouldn't be able to play it. I've tried playing the game without it, and I'm not sure I got past the first realm. Anyway, we got seven minutes left. Time to go challenge the dragon. I think we can beat it in seven minutes. Dragon is over here. The first boss of this playthrough. You are now entering the dragon's lair. There, you freeze the dragon and lose a bunch of health from it for it. Lose a, and it loses a bunch of health too. Red Archer has gained a level. See, I got through over half of its health while it was. Right now, it's really just about hitting the bastard, because apparently that's not as easy as I thought it was. There. It's dead. See? Easy. I'm gonna take the meat, because I can. Yeah, you get like... You get five of a certain type of really expensive coin. I got 5,000 gold from that, from killing that dragon. I think once I get to the shop, I have 15,000 to work with instead of just five, or instead of just 10. And that's how boss battles work. They give you five of a certain type of gold. <clears throat> different ones for different bosses, of course.
So now stats. What did I say I needed? Foreign magic. So it should be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one. And let's add an extra to speed just so that it's still the favorite. I like the electric shield. And then I'll buy more levitation. 745, 755, 745. So I did overbuy on armor. Darn. Oh well. There. I've beaten a boss. And with that, I think we'll end this video off here. I'd say that's a good spot. So, well, I say here, but I'm going to at least get to the castle area again. Congratulations! You have recovered the shard for the Mountain Kingdom. For the Mountain Kingdom. Continue now on your quest to recover all eight shards that restore the entrance to the desecrated temple. Okie dokie. Alrighty, so in the next episode, we will tackle probably both of these other two levels before the boss, and then the next. And maybe even the start of the next world. So, I will see you guys 